Hi guys, and welcome to another video. Welcome to my video. I wanted to make a video series on preparing for my Scotland trip next year. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I've been training for some long distance hikes in Scotland, specifically the Great Glen Way and the West Highland Way. It originally started out as just the West Highland Way, and then I was going to go around Scotland and visit some of the areas where various members of my family are from. And one of those destinations was Inverness. I realized that when I end the West Highland Way in Fort William, there's another long distance trail that starts in Fort William and ends in Inverness. I went, hmm, why don't I hike that one too? The West Highland Way is a very popular footpath in Scotland. It runs from a town called Mulgai, which is a suburb of Glasgow to, in the south, to Fort William in the north. And the Great Glen Way picks up in Fort William and runs further north to Inverness. West Highland Way, I believe, is 90, I think it's 96 miles, and the Great Glen Way, I believe, is 78. So it's a good couple hundred miles of trails that I'm going to be traversing on foot. I'm going to be doing um, wild camping, campgrounds, and because I want the experience of a Scottish b and I'm also going to be doing some B&Bs along the way. I also have reserved a hotel, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of everything so I can get a little bit of the all-around experience. So I wanted to get into the whys. I have not completed, like, done the whole thing in one shot, a long distance trail. So I decided that I was gonna pick one and I wanted one with spectacular scenery and I wanted one as far away from my home as possible. <laughs> I chose the West Highland Way. After watching several documentaries and videos of other people's hikes, I said, uh, that's the one. That's the one I want to do. I want to hike through the Scottish Highlands and that's it, I'm gonna do it. I missed Scotland the first time around in the UK and I felt that this was something that I really, really needed to do. No one else in my family likes to hike and backpack. I have struggled with many things in the past several years, mental health issues, insomnia, the death of my father, Rama's death. There's so many things. And I think I'm hoping that this trip will help me to work my way through a lot of those things that I really have not allowed myself to work through. 2020 is trying to tell us all something. It's trying to tell us to slow down and to really take, take a break and think long and hard about what you wanna do with your life. And this is one of the things I've always wanted to do with my life is to backpack in Europe. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm very excited. Thank you guys along with me for the ride. And that includes all of my prep for this trip. It includes my gear. That includes all of my doubts, all of my thoughts, all of the things that are going to crop up along the way. A whole lot of preparation has to go into a trip like this. Um, especially because I'm going to be gone for several weeks and being a mom and having children and animals, I have to figure out what's going to go on here while I'm gone. And I also have to put together a kit of gear that is going to serve me well in the Scottish Highlands, which is an environment that I am not familiar with. I am from Florida. I am a flatlander. And while I have spent time in the mountains and I have hiked in the mountains before, this is gonna be a whole new game. I am attempting to do this with all ultralight gear. I'm gonna be watching my weight very carefully. The first uh, overnight backpacking trip that I ever did 
my pack was ridiculously heavy. I think that thing was 38, 39 pounds, and that's too much. I'm aiming for 22 pounds or under. So, mm, I don't know. Keep, keep track of my lighter pack. <laughs> my lighter pack uh, link down below because as I get pieces of gear, I'm gonna be adding it into my lighter pack page. So that helps me see where my weight is. So some of the stuff that's in there might not make the final cut. So you wanna keep coming back and checking it out and see maybe what I have uh, replaced, what I have decided to do without, luxury items that I plan on bringing along. I plan on videoing the whole thing. So I will be bringing camera equipment. So that in itself is gonna take up a lot of weight. Camera gear, the chargers, the power banks, um, all of those things are gonna take up extra weight in my pack. So I've got to take all of that into consideration as well. If you guys are interested in following this trip, please subscribe to my channel and hit the little like button below and the little dingy bell to be notified when new videos go up. And I will take you through the good, the bad, and the ugly because during my training, I'm sure there's going to be some ugly. <laughs> Scotland is very wet. I'm following people who are actually over there right now and who, um, they just reopened it recently after COVID, they closed everything down, even the trails, you couldn't go out on the trails over there. Um, so I've been following people who are over there now and who have already completed their trek or who are starting or who are doing it now. And there's some, there's some rain. I saw some photos coming out of some of the campgrounds over there where tents were under water. I will freak the hell out if all my gear, if I wake up and all my gear is under water. Temperatures are also gonna be something I'm not used to. Um, it's gonna be cold compared to what I'm used to here. I mean, Florida is wet, so that I'm used to, but the wet and the cold, you know, that's gonna be challenging. And the mountains. I work out regularly. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I work out regularly. I work out six days a week. I do a lot of strength work and I do a fair amount of cardio. And I still feel like I don't think I'm gonna be prepared. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be prepared enough. So I hope you guys will follow along with my journey because it is going to be amazing. I have a feeling it's gonna be just an awesome trip and it's gonna be quite a ride from now until next summer. It's gonna be here before you know it. I hope you guys will come along on this journey with me and who knows, maybe it'll inspire you to go on a journey of your own and maybe it'll bring back memories. Maybe you've already hiked these trails. If you have hiked the West Highland Way and the Great Glen Way and you would like to give me some advice, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. You could put those in the comments down below. I will say thank you guys very much for watching and yeah, so this is video one of my West Highland Way and Great Glen Way prep. I hope you guys will come along for the whole journey. Thanks so much. Bye.